Hello. Hello. Who's there? Misha Montana. Knock, knock. Who's there? Misha Montana. Oh, right, I don't, the don't open the door. <laughs> Probably shouldn't, unless it's your dad. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Misha Montana. Yes. We're doing a I podcast did. about what? We're doing a podcast about XBW. Extreme pro wrestling. Extreme, extreme, extreme. Pro, pro. Listen. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're doing the post show of... Do you know the show? Do you already forget? You already forgot? Stroke Brain. Beautiful Disaster. There you go. I was like, which one? Yeah. <laughs> which one? Beautiful Disaster. Um... We've been asked about it by a few people because they listened to the Post California podcast and liked it. Um, we actually did record one after the show, but it was so boring because we were so tired. We just kind of. I like, think I was high too. Oh, you might have been high. Yeah, yeah. You're like, uh, yeah, yeah, uh-huh. um, before before <laughs> before, before before the show, before we get really into it, what do we want to promote about XPW? We are finally, after months of me looking like a fool on the internet promoting. You're still gonna look like a fool after this. <laughs> That's right. true. Oh, just wait. There's a lot. The foolery is only going to escalate the, in the next few months. The Tom for foolery, us. Mich- Misha's <laughs> uncle Tom foolery. I uh, don't say that because that also will contribute to the foolery that's about yes, to happen. Yes, true. Um, so we, um, what, what do we say? <laughs> <laughs> what? Holy moly! I had a stroke moment. I literally just had a stroke moment. What are we promoting? Oh, our YouTube channel. <laughs> After months of promotion, or we are promoting our YouTube channel. Finally, it's coming up. We have some amazing. What is it episodes. called? What is it called? Two Russians, One America. Let me finish. Let, let me finish. Uh, we. <laughs> this is why I get thrown off. We have um, our YouTube, Two Russians, One America. Super exciting. We just did a, a v- little mini viewing party for the first episode. It looks fantastic. It's great, and it is about California. So it's a recap with all the footage and stuff and behind the scenes and our interviews about it. It's amazing. That's going up. Um, so it's going to be huge. Like this YouTube channel is great. So if you haven't yet, go like, subscribe to Russians, one America dot com. New episodes every week. You should see the stuff that's coming. You guys like it's going to be insane. Um, our lives are insane if you didn't know that already. But I mean, this is definitely going to be going to be huge and interesting well to us the uh we debated what we're going to do as the first episode to launch right does because we've been posting little promo videos introducing uh, you myself Bodie, Bodie, your son um evelyn evelyn is going to be, evelyn going to be in there we're going to introduce a bunch of other people um but we wanted the first episode to be about xpw and um yes. the california show because it was the first show back in la and we got some amazing, amazing footage, backstage footage, uh, um, leading up to the show footage. Yeah. And that was my first show. Right. And that was like your first show, you know, doing the photos and the videos right. and just the, the chaos and just how everything like got put together. It was crazy. Like the stress levels were so high. And then like the show was fantastic. It's one of the best shows like in history of, you know, well, Deathmatch, I think. Death and matchery? Is that what you said? Death, death match- matches. I'm, into, I'm having a stroke brain day today, mm-hmm. so <laughs> please, <laughs> please forgive me. I'm not, I'm not high or anything. I just literally, <laughs> I literally am having stroke brain problems this week because I'm stressed out. So that happens. I'm so, just like, I, 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 I sound like uh, Biden. I, I, yeah, that's right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't get on the bike, please. <laughs> Don't get on the bike. God, okay, just stay that. off the, stay off the elliptical. That hurts real bad. I know. I yeeted Bo across the room. Yeah. For the last show, yeah, me, Misha abused uh, Bodhi yeah, with an elliptical. Him. He he fell, and then she's like, "Watch this, Bodhi! I'm gonna smack <laughs> you with the elliptical across the room." God, he fell like there's literally this entire room. There's nothing to trip over, nothing like he could you know run into. But he finds the one thing, and he tripped over his foot while I'm on the elliptical. And if everyone knows, you know how big my thighs are, I jam on the elliptical. I was going 13 miles an hour, and I just wagged <laughs> him across the room. But he was showing all the the guys his did you, hear, did you hear the ghost upstairs yeah i know the ghost is upstairs talking at least it went back upstairs it was living down here mm-hmm. for a while maybe it just decided to go back up there i cleaned it for her so oh yeah she's, that's what she's, she's probably happy yeah that or she was like why'd you mess with my stuff 
<laughs> we go up there and it's back to being messy. Like, what just happened? I'll get you, bitch. <laughs> um, sorry, you were talking about yeeting your son across <laughs> the room. <laughs> yeah, I yeeted him. I felt so bad, poor guy, because that hurt so bad. And he's got this gash on his back. And so he's showing all the wrestlers. And beautiful disaster. That beautiful disaster. <laughs> he's showing up, Big F and Joe. It was so cool. We, we have footage of him Bodie showing. walking up to Big F and Joe. Um, at uh, Beautiful Disaster at the meet and greet and he's pulling up his shirt showing Joe his scar and then Joe showing his scars to Bodhi so, so it's cool. the cutest thing like you got this giant man child and yeah. Big F and Joe and this little child and then they're sharing and then th then Big F and Joe went into his bag yeah and he gave him a pair of tidy whities and then he's like I don't know if this is appropriate or not so I gave him to me and then I sniffed them all day <sighs> I was I'm like, why is Misha wearing a mask? <laughs> oh, wait, that's not a mask. Those are Big F and Joe's underwear. <laughs> uh, Bodhi had the time of his life. He, like, Bodhi doesn't even realize, too. Like, his life is so eccentric and so cool. Like, he's around, you know, porn icons all day long, which some people would be like, wow, that's great. I think it's fucking wonderful. Like, he's going to be the coolest kid ever. And now he's, like, integrated into the wrestling world, and he got to practice in the ring and he was just having that's like the time of his life like, that's right he got to wrestle in the he ring he got to wrestle with manny is um manny's an up and coming he's gonna be a he's, great a, he's little what wrestler. 10 years old and he's, he's like 10 a, and, and he's, he's training very to technically be a on yeah. point and he was building the ring he yeah he built the it together, they're yes. wonderful so he helped Bodhi out and Bodhi got to wrestle with him and meet all these wrestlers he met sabu and all these guys and like he just had the time of his life he had the absolute time. Well, I, to me, I think the most memorable moment is, and we have footage of this. May at some point I, we'll throw it up on YouTube. Is a photo shoot mm -hmm. with two Veronica. icons, Veronica Kane and Jasmine St. Clair, taking pictures, pictures with Bodie, and we got video of it. Uh, we got home. really good, re really good pictures, and the smile on Bodie's face, because like he's like a little, he loves to flirt with the girls. Oh, he and, loves and he's girls. Just, uh, he's like, and he sees pretty girls all day long, every day. Like all, you know, all of our friends and colleagues and stuff. He's just like with a, you know, he like, like Auntie Evelyn and you know all these girls around all the time. It's just like, he loves it so much. Like he's he has a crazy life for a little boy. Like, it's kind of scary because he's such a ladies' man, and now with abortion being illegal, we're in trouble. Yeah, I five. That's great. I'm just six. I'm just saying, you know, you know, when he gets old enough to impregnate girls. Yeah. I'm just saying. So crazy. He probably doesn't have semen yet. I, God, Jesus. Well, I'm just curious. Nice. So, so you, we should Google like when no, when, when, when little you boys Google get semen. I guess that's gonna be puberty. why because you, you want to convert to Catholicism all of a sudden uh, or something. Yeah. That's gonna be an FBI flag on a heartbeat. <laughs> 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 unless delete, you're delete, in church, control, unless delete. you're in church, and then you're fine. Yes, 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 yes you're in church, and it's a cousin. <laughs> or it's a, it's a cousin, ordained it's minister. Um, Don't do that in the state of Alabama for anyone listening from Alabama. <laughs> so, beautiful disaster. It was an all women tournament. Yes, eight women. Um, to me, it was really cool because, like, I'm actually a wrestling fan, like Misha. Oh, so, um, it oh, was. Yeah. I'm like, oh my god, and I told Misha. I was just jealous of what my incredible ability. Did Rob tell you that I'm part of the storyline? What part is that? I'm gonna hit Schlack in the head with you next show. You better like fucking Like javelin not. you into his, into his, into his crotch. I was gonna say like, as long as it's in like on dick or something, I'm fine. Hey, wait a minute. He, the, <laughs> um, obviously, <laughs> according to the last show, Veronica Kane's trying to steal Schlack. She from better you. not, that bitch. <gasps> I'm gonna Veronica's fight her. so nice. She's like one of the nicest people you could ever meet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fight her. <laughs> you wanna fight her? We're gonna fight. Um, so um. We did fight. Yeah, you did fight. You fought. You, you, they Jasmine tried, tried to hit you in the head. That, that was after they took pictures with your son. Yeah, I know. How dare they? <laughs> they they used my son against me. Then they tried to kidnap him. They kidnap him, <laughs> but maybe not. <laughs> no, they like, they came at me hot. Two yeah, they on did. one. Man. I'm, I was shooting stills. I'm going, they're landing some punches. And they're like, I they, see your face. We, yeah, you're they like, did. You're like, you're like, ugh. And I'm like, ha <laughs> she's getting, I did. She's I getting molly whopped by, Don't by worry. two legends. Don't worry. My time will come. Oh yeah. Yes. Are, are you gonna are you gonna have like a posse of like porn chicks, like new porn chicks against the no? The because none of them can porn. stand up long enough to get a, into the. Yeah, into the that's room. true. You can roll them in. <laughs> oh, they'll be perfect because you know, like Dirty Ron McDonald's whole gimmick that he throws cocaine at a. a oh yeah, they'd be great like, if I tell them there's cocaine. Like, they're, ah, they're like, oh my god, Dirty Ron. We just Ron, like no. you know what is that like? Uh, was it Handsome Girl or the Breadcrumbs? 
Yeah, you, know, you can put little cocaine ba baggies. Cocaine baggies <laughs> <and> <gasps> porn chicks. That's brilliant. That's where you get the porn chicks to come out. Little, little cocaine like, baggies. I'm coming. <laughs> then I'll be or ready pills, to go. They'll be ready though yeah. by the time they get there. So that's good. They're not gonna feel pain, so you can do whatever you want to them. <laughs> um, Damn it. So I was really honestly, I was really excited to to shoot Chelsea Green because when your whole gimmick, you know, like you're you're crazy big titty bitch, uh, whatever. Big titty psycho. Uh, big titty psycho. Well, okay, okay. So, yeah, you're just a bitch, but like the big titty psycho yeah. character. That's um, not relevant. And I told you that you know I think I might have showed you some videos of Chelsea Green in Impact yeah. when she she played the 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 crazy the, the, the jilted uh, um, she was left at the altar crazy chick with and she would come out with a ripped up wedding dress makeup all running and crazy and, and she would scream at people and uh, when I was taking pictures of her. Um, I fuck my GoPro was rolling. I wish it was rolling because it was this was pretty cool. Because we just started talking about it, I brought it up to him. Like I go, you know, that gimmick that you did, if it was a gimmick, unless it's real, um, uh, of of you being this this psycho that just got jilted lover, and she go and and she was like, she was very like thankful. She was like, thank you because that means a lot to me because she's like, you know, wrestling aside. I love doing this and, yeah. and, it, and it was cool Ever, to like they love their this is art this, this is art them, this is this is, this is this I is. love it too like I mean you're and I'm in love with it more than anything like even like porn even though like we get you know creative control and directing and writing stories and stuff and I love that more than anything but it's like wrestling I love more well because because it's kind of like that's why I love doing horror movies because yeah you you, you could show that Passion. to everybody and 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 it's not mm -hmm. like you're like like you know I tell people all the time like I might shoot the coolest shit for my porno but no one that that, that, that even it. if it's the clean stuff I can't show it to no. most of the people I showed so, my dad I ordered the paper excuse me what oh oh, oh, oh the porno. wrestling I was like oh Jesus God. dad you see this BBC <laughs> scene I did God, look, how, look how big his dick is I yeah. took it all down dad you'd be aren't you proud of me and put my dad in the grave early. Um, I sh show it was so cool because you're right. Like I got to download, you know. Oh, you showed so you showed your dad. I showed my paper? dad. You getting beat up by yeah. like two girls? I showed my dad and my my dad was appalled. He was? Oh yeah, he's not. He's like. Well, what your the, dad's the crazy, crazy lefty, this? lefty uh, so safe space. Well, guy. he's just like he doesn't. I mean, most of society is like looks at death matches like what is this like what just happened What's but he on? was just very quiet but i think he was he, so you showed him the death match too yeah oh my so lord so he was like yeah he doesn't no, understand my, same with my parents they're like, he, what, yeah, they're like, they're what like these this? people are crazy they're my mom drugs. who has dementia really bad but she was like she's like this is great oh my goodness look at this <laughs> like, is this real everybody's always like is that real blood well, that's what yeah. well then you tell them that it is and then she didn't get wasn't excited anymore she's like right. oh my god that's horrifying yeah, yeah, it went yeah. from like this is cool oh well, it's real oh Jesus. <laughs> no, there's no Jesus there. there only no Shlap. God. Only, only Shlap. Shlap. <laughs> only Shlap. <laughs> um, we worship Shaq in this house. So, um, yeah, it, it was it was really cool because, like, all the women were, like, are super talented oh, they're uh, amazing, wrestlers and, girls. and Sage um, Sin, big names. I love her. Sage Sin, she's Supreme, just, she's just so oh, she's nice a wonderful and, person. and, and I adore yeah, her. very. Uh, Lou Dark. It was like yeah, you know the funny thing wonderful. is like cuz like there's like, this girl walking around the super cute girl I'm like what the fuck is this and yeah, then and, and then and, and then all of a sudden a girl comes out in the mask for a match I'm like oh my god I think that was I think that was her it's kind of like when I was at one of the um lucha expos and cuz uh Ruben and Kevin hooked me up with like you know backstage and all that stuff cool. so, because you know yeah you know, throw the name drop a little bit um and uh right, I remember uh, the last one in San Diego uh they got me a hotel room so I was staying in the hotel room I was hanging out with um Vinny Massaro and Joey Ryan, and by the way, Joey Ryan did not try to touch my butthole. Uh, for for <laughs> as a disclaimer, in case anyone was wondering, in case anybody was wondering, he didn't try to touch it. He did, and he, then he Ivan did. was a willing participant. <laughs> Especially if he takes edibles, you can stick whatever you want. In hey, his excuse butt. <laughs> you, my lord. Um, anyways, <laughs> I was uh, I remember being in the lobby and watching a guy got hit by a car. So we were all standing. Okay, wow. Yeah, yeah, no, seriously, I have video of it on GoPro. Th this guy in a motorcycle was like at a red light, and a drunk driver oh my God. smashed into him. And the guy was like just laying there, and the car. Why parked is this funny? Because it was funny. Because it's funny. Because like they they wanted to park. You watched a guy die. No, he didn't. I, I, just, I don't know if he was dead or not. But there was a lot of ambulances down fire trucks. But Jesus Christ. but like the guy pulls into the parking lot, the drunk with his girlfriend, right? Because his girlfriend made him like pull into the parking lot and they're outside arguing and wrestlers like jump them and are holding him down so the police could get there 
And I'm talking to a couple of guys, and then and they're not even wearing masks. And then later, I'm all like, like few years was after that. No, no, it wasn't Ray Mysterio. Ray Mysterio met me, and he was all like, "Oh, I want to talk to him." You know who? You know Ray Mysterio's son that he wanted some like, porn shit back in the day. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. <laughs> not right. Dominic. Now he's like in WWE. That's Anyways, so funny. Uh, so a, a, a few years later, I'm all like. Oh my fucking god! I think that was Pentagon and Ray Phoenix, but I didn't recognize because they were ma- wearing, you know, they were not mar- wearing masks because you know it's after hours and they're fucking going to sleep. And I asked Julian, I'm like, D- was Ray Mister, oh, Ray Mister, uh, Ray Phoenix and and Pentagon? And he goes, yeah. He goes, you probably were talking to them because Ray Phoenix speaks English, Pentagon doesn't. And I and I remember the voice. I'm like, motherfucker! I love those dudes. I'm like Jim Cornette. I actually love those dudes. And uh, um. Yeah, so I, I think I met them, but Ray, uh, yeah, Ray Mysterio was probably the highlight of my rest, the uh, like wrestling stuff or whatever, because I got to take pictures, ringside pictures with him, and uh, and then uh, at Lucha Expo in Vegas, uh, Ruben took me to the back, and Ray Mysterio was like, that's that's, that's that. like he was pointing at me like he knew I was. I was like, that's right, motherfucker, you know who I am, you tiny little amazing man. Um, See, it's I, nice that you have that experience. My experience from all this is that I get every major WWE, AEW, MMA, Bellator fighters in my DMs constantly now. Ah, uh, whatever. <laughs> I spoke to Tank Johnson once through my DMs on Twitter, <laughs> and you don't even know who Tank Johnson is. I have no idea. He was an ex football player. He was an ex football player. Oh, God, I was in wrestling. I'm trying to make me look like a fool in my own. In my lair. In your lair. How dare you? Yeah, she's got she's got a bunch of uh, wrestlers in her DMs and uh, watching her stories now. Oh my god, yeah, they're like and these like big guys, like and it's not just like a couple of them. They're like probably a dozen yeah. between all of them. Well, because because they they probably see the XWTV and they're like, yeah. that a and they're like watching it like yeah. hard, hard, hard. I mean, yeah. I mean, Whore. yeah, you know, Whore. hard, hard. I mean, hard, yeah. hard. Slide. Uh, <laughs> the fuck up. So, so uh, um, yeah, it was like, and you know, um, the funny thing is, because uh, I'm running around taking stills backstage and trying to get to the fucking rink to take pictures. So it's like I'm trying to go back and forth, and you can't run because you're in the middle of like, like you know, like this fucking uh, gambling hall or you know, horse racing. Oh yeah, gambling. that's so weird. Yeah, so the I can't venue run. Is so weird. So like, I, I have to like walk, like do like a speed walk from backstage to the fucking ring to get there. <laughs> There's um, blood, by the way, all over. Like, so this gambling hall. No, not not this time because they, there was. Well, they were supposed to be because they yelled at Rob for it. Oh, there was blood everywhere. Was there really? I thought there was more blood this time. Wait, than wait, last inside? Time. Yeah, because they were walking then further distances now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So because like, before they just there walked There were right drops of blood on the steps, on the floor, <laughs> on the side of the walls. I and have, I'm like, holy fuck, I'm in like, I, like, I have uh, video of, uh, uh, of, 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 of one of the girls who was bloody walking up to the bar, still <laughs> drenched oh, in yeah, blood. Oh, yeah, well, Sage and I went and uh, I bought her a drink uh-huh. and she just. But her makeup's all fucked up. She's like covered in blood, and we're just like sitting <laughs> at the bar getting drinks. Like no big deal. Like she, she's. Did her. you notice how her. how cute the waitresses are there? No, I didn't. Why not? I wasn't paying attention. Oh, sorry, are I they? Because the last time uh, we were there, the waitress there was, was a kind of old, old no, no, these, bitch. These, 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 no, no, no. These, these a couple of them were like, uh, I'm a porn director. I'm like a doctor. Like you know, when when somebody's walking with a limp, a doctor sees them. They're like, I know he's got the ACL, MCL, and DSL going on in okay. his leg. So okay. as 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 a porn director, I, when I see a woman walk by you know with talent, I'm like, I know like? what her talent is. I pretty much I could tell. Oh, Yo, you know what my sixth sense is? Dicks. Yeah, I can tell if somebody is gonna have a big dick or not. Really? Yeah, and I'm accurate. Like I'm literally like I've never been wrong. So okay, let's go down the line of wrestlers next week. Okay. Really? Yeah. Okay. Uh, big, I don't know big if F I want to. Uh, big F and Joe. Big. You think so? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Because you got so. a big smile on your face. How do you know, motherfucker? <laughs> I think. Why so. do you disappear? You, you're always disappearing. You're like, I'm getting hot dogs for everybody. Mm-hmm. I'm getting hot dogs mm-hmm. for okay. everybody. What about um, Schlack? I think he's short but but thick. Yeah. That's I what I kind of like him. No, I think he probably he's probably got something going on. I mean, I already know. So. <gasps> just kidding. Yo, my yo. Okay, enough you can't enough for the dick talk. <laughs> what the fuck are we doing here? Let's go through it. Let's go no, through that's, it. That's, we're not going to go through <laughs> it. Kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um but uh yeah, so so the the one female wrestler I didn't get a chance to take pictures of was Diana Perrazzo. So like right before her match, She's uh, about to come out, and I'm all like, "Hey, I didn't get any chance to take pictures. Can I take pictures of you after the match?" She goes, "Depending on you know how tore up, whatever you know, she, she, 
her match goes because it's fucking hot, sweat, all the kinds of shit. So after the match, I come up to her and I'm like, and she looks at me. She goes, "Yeah, let's go." She goes, she just give me a few minutes to like touch up a little." I'm like, "Cool, cool." And she's so nice. She's so wonderful. And and so I'm taking pictures of her, and I go to her. I go, you know, I go on TV. You're such a bitch. <laughs> In person, you're so. She goes, "Funny how that works, right?" And uh, I was yeah. like, "Yeah, no, yeah, amazing. yeah." Um, same with Chelsea Green. Um, yeah, she's really nice. She's she, they don't like and, me and at professional, all. Professional, profet. Chelsea Green was like fucking on point, man. She was like. Uh, can I take pictures of it? She goes, yeah, let's do it quick because I need to go um, plan for the show. And um, and then we had to do, Rob's like, get, make sure you get promos. Rob, like, we're back there taking pictures. And everybody's back there. And I, I'm setting up. And, and, and I hear, and I hear him, Slava, Slava. And, I, and not that I'm ignoring him. I'm in the middle, so I'm about to, like, respond because he's never called me Ivan. I was, like, even when I directed for him, I was always Slava. And uh, Ivan! And I'm like, What? And he goes, make sure you get all the promos. I go, what promos? You gave me no fucking nothing. So he goes, get promos. Da, 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 da. So, I'm, so Chelsea Green after the match, I'm all like, hey, you mind doing a promo? And she's all like, yeah. And she she, she ran the promo. She's all like, let's do this, 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 and this, and like this. And I'm like, cool. It makes it easy for me. I don't have to come up with anything. And uh, um, her promo was wonderful. And, uh, and then fucking, what's the name? I don't even know what, what name he goes by. Does he go by fucking... Samuel Shaw, I think that's what he was in WWE, oh, yeah. or he goes by oh, Dexter yeah, Loomis. Him. I love him. Yeah, he he. I, 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 no I one really that. saw him. No, he, which is crazy. He he got a payday to literally come out in the dark. He doesn't even care. He's always probably like a school. Well, that's what like what we were talking about because I was taking pictures of him. And he's all like, "This like an easy paycheck." He goes like, "You know, he's I'm, really I'm doing cool. a run in." And he Everybody's goes, really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, very professional. And you know what it is also. And a lot of them tell me this. They didn't get pictures like the pictures I take. No, of course not. Um, I've never even seen pictures like the pictures that you take. So, that's, like, the, that's what I've been me. taking a coffee table book, by the way. So, like, everyone needs to go purchase that. Well, well, Rob, <laughs> Rob said he was going to do a coffee table book. I hope so. Uh, or oh, trading cards. Yeah. because I think you should do a for, coffee table book. Those images are so stunning. Yeah, I, It'd I agree. It would be a beautiful coffee table book. We could do it like ourselves. Marilyn we could publish it ourselves. Like, blurb. What did you say? Nothing like Marilyn Manson's, but I mean, quotes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever. No. That's our. We have one coffee table book, and it's Marilyn Manson's coffee table. Book. Oh, really? Yeah. No, I have a bunch of coffee Until table books. Until we away. have my Stroke Doodle coffee table book, and then your XBW coffee table book. Yep. So, anyway, coming soon. Coming soon. So, um, we uh, uh Bodie was there. He got to meet a bunch Bodie of wrestlers. Had a good time, yeah. Um, Bodie did not. For the record, I have to disclaimer this because people were like, one, they're already appalled about the porn proximity. Two. <laughs> Um, f he did not watch the death matches. No, he was not. He was he backstage. He was not watching uh, death matches. Either or Ruben, I don't yeah. agree with that. There were children there that I was uh, shocked <laughs> that they were watching. There's so many children this. in the crowd. I, but you know why I wouldn't watch, let him watch it? One, because it means they're excessively violent. I think it'd be disturbing to to children. But I think that my biggest fear. This is the one reason why I don't want him to watch it. Is because. He's I'd be afraid that he'd go get a fucking pizza cutter and then cut my throat in the middle of the night. He's like, like Mom, look, I'm like, Let's <laughs> And he's got a knife and Takes stabs bunch of me. Skewers and sticks. Yeah, in my that's why I don't let him watch it because I'm strictly afraid for our personal safety. Right, no, that, but no, he had a great time. He, it was great, and I was so happy to have him there. Um, just, it was a wonderful night as always. Like, I had a great time. Um, I was really excited to meet all the fans. Like. Um, because this time is different. People actually knew who I was this time. Most people knew. Chris Cross doesn't Chris know. Chris Cross doesn't know who I well, am. Well, the best part is... But, Even though I've met him 25 times. Well, he knows because, like, on our YouTube channel, when he meets you, he goes, oh, uh, I've seen your work. I like your work. So, he knows your name. He knows who you are. But, but I literally had to introduce myself, like, three times to him, and he still refers to me as that girl. I don't... I, I don't I, know. I don't understand I don't what's going on there. Um, but, no, it was... <laughs> but it was great. I got to meet fans and do signings and you know it, i just love it so much and the more it goes like the more invested i am in it and i just i absolutely love it it was a great show it was a success great turnout well um, you know also like i've always wanted to implement gopros into the death matches and i did a little bit and then uh, rob when i sent him the video of uh alex cologne going through the glass with a gopro yeah uh, that's a really he's all like oh we need more gopro stuff i'm like i go yeah no shit yeah, I, i've, um, I've wanted to rig gopros to weapons yeah i think that's you know cool. and we have just just full disclaimer 
Mish and I have six GoPros. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we even have a VR GoPro. Um, so we can do some really cool shit with GoPros, uh, rigging them everywhere. I mean, like, I've always wanted to rig one to a wrestler, like a chest cam or like a head cam. Chest cam might be cooler because head cam would, like, get in the way with blood and everything like that. But um, so I have a lot of ideas. I have ad uh, new ideas about how to light for the next show. Uh, um, for it's backstage just, pictures It's always going to get better Yeah 100% You know, 100%, this, you know it's, uh, uh, it's, it's, it's a work in goes. progress it's Yeah a work because And even just the like You know The backstage Just everything The more You know It's so impressive to me That Rob can pull this off After 20 years of not doing it And like Make it work so well like, On a small screw Like I mean Yeah the on, And I mean know. The crew like Especially this time The crew this time Was a fraction of what it was before. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, it yeah, there were fans helping out. The fans, crew, yeah. yeah. Yeah, these, <laughs> some of my fans helping out. You know, it was great. Like, I don't know, it was wonderful. Um, it's impressive what Rob does with this, and I'm just so happy to. Ew. Mate, did you just fart? God, no. Misha, gross. No, I could queef though. Well, I mean, you quit with your pussy. Ew, you what did you eat? Pussy fart. What are you talking about? Ugh. Such a liar. You're chewing tobacco. You smell nothing. And you <sighs> farted, not me. No, I didn't. You God queefed. Lord. What did you, you stick you in your queef? pussy? What did you stick? Can you? Go ahead. Oh, hold on. It's a little juicy. Oh, my God. You're going to shit yourself. <laughs> no, I'm not going to push. But, by the way, Misha sharted. Oh, my God. That wasn't a fart. That was a queef. They came out of her cooter. That's my hidden talent that no one knows. Yeah. I can yeah, queef. her name is Queen I'm Laqueefa. Queef. Misha, the Queen I'm going to go on America's Got Talent and do a whole skit where it's like the ABCs, like queef yeah. the ABCs. So. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure Simon will Queen be Queen You already got that Queen Laqueefa here. So you're oh, my go. God. Um, so. Um, yeah. The show. It was... The matches, the, the 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 women's matches were fantastic. I fucking loved Lindsay Snow and uh, um, the dark. Oh yeah, Chaton. Lindsay Snow's tight too. Holy, yeah, Lindsay Snow's really. They're all very nice. like Everybody's super cool, and it's just so cool in wrestling too, like just how individual everybody is, and like their gimmicks and their like looks and everything. Like the matches were fantastic. You know, Taya's wonderful. She deserved it. Now she's on what five or six belts. Yeah, five belts. I think. Um, she deserves all of that. She's a lovely, lovely person. Um. No, I think it was a great show. I can't wait for the next one. I'm excited to see what happens. And obviously, I'm going to get some uh, revenge on some people. That You're going to beat up some, some legendary porn tricks? Yeah, I am. We should bring a giant dildo and smack him in the head with it. I'll smack wrap him, him with whatever. Wrap, wrap it in barbed wire. Yeah. Mother sucker. Get him. Um, so, yeah. It was so, uh, what's your, what was your favorite match that you saw? Um, My favorite match that I saw... I don't know. I think the Big F and Joe Schlock match is still my favorite. Um, obviously, I had to be escorted out, so I couldn't be involved in it any further. But, you know, he didn't need my help this time because he's a badass, so he won on his yeah. own. Um, there was a drunk fan that tried to hit uh, Big F and Joe with a I know. That's crazy. Oh, Mc Definitely. Ron. Dirty motherfucking Ron making appearances. Oh, Dirty Ron doing a run? Oh, yeah, that was the coolest thing about about that because like we were backstage and then just some dude walking around with the lucha mask. Hey, he's like, hey, hey what like, the fuck is that? Who's that guy? And then all of a sudden you just, find out it's Dirty he, he, Ron. He like, lifts his mask and we're like, oh, yeah, you're here. And then runs God. away. And then runs away. He goes, shh. Yeah, runs okay, away. Like, go. oh, fuck, Dirty Ron's here. I love Dirty Ron. And we didn't know what was happening. Then all of a sudden he, he shows up and smacks Sabu in the head with a chair. Yeah. Rightfully so. I'm yeah, Sabu. That's fucking Sabu. Sabu's... <laughs> he's, he's, not very, he's never he's not very he social. he was he was he was nice towards he's, the end but he was not in a good mood for some of that yeah t towards the end i think he's just <laughs> he, he he's, probably, he's, just, he's just an old man yeah like, no that's and that's it's not a big deal but no it was great like i loved it um can't wait for the next one august 13th august 13th uh day, day of, of reckoning day of reckoning night of reckoning night of reckoning ah, fuck. something reckoning we're really tired. We had a really tired. Um, I had a stroke, so you, no one can say shit. I'm here. old, so mm -hmm. that's my excuse. <laughs> um, so my favorite match was yeah, what's your favorite um, match? was the women's uh, uh, title match, the four way with the, the ladder match. Yeah, I bet it was. Um, yeah, it was. I bet it was. It was. I bet your four way was your favorite. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah that's cool. And nobody knew how to do a router match, right? <laughs> Wasn't that part of it? Uh, so yeah, I, I, think all, match I think, I think only two other uh, out of the four women actually have, have, have done, done it before. Done it before. But that's what XPW is so cool because it pushes that envelope too. Kind of like how I didn't know there was going to be barbed wire in the ring. Like I mean, it's just like surprise. Yeah. And it's cool, like the right, stuff, right, right. the planning and the the execution of this stuff is just incredible. What you the, what's put together by Rob from across the country? To make it happen is an insane from the budget to the planning to flying people out to put them up in hotels so to make sure they get to the venue to make sure that from the venue they get to the hotel to then and then they go home and um and planning it all out and uh it's a lot and uh, it's funny because i listen to his show and he's always t talking about how like people don't fucking get how much work it is like we do because we work i mean like it, it our schedules in, like, insane yeah, like yeah. beyond insane down to like you know, I was up at, at six. Went to sleep at like three. I think yeah, went to sleep around three. I was up at six. I was 30. working until three. Yeah, she was working till till three because a guy couldn't come. Um, I on purpose. Uh, and I I on purpose. <laughs> I I didn't go to sleep when Misha got here. We didn't we didn't go to sleep till like three. I was up at six thirty editing because I have a, re a regular job and then finishing the YouTube channel. I had then we took I had to take on another job that I'm working on. Uh, Misha's got twenty jobs. She's heading to exotica in uh in tomorrow um tomorrow night tomorrow luckily, night wait, luckily it's night i was so glad it was tomorrow night what time is your flight tomorrow? seven okay but still i mean it's like i and then i have a new york appearance the following week that i haven't even allowed myself to think about right and that alone well, you, don't, be, you don't you don't know. have to do pull tricks you could just do i can't do pull tricks well, you do, no way just grind on the floor yeah that's just blow do. dudes that's don't, that's perfect that's, that's, that's my plan that's your plan so, blow everybody. That's uh, so if any of you guys are in new york you're going to be where at sapphire i'm going to be at sapphire this is my first appearance Misha, which is crazy Misha's that first appearance i got booked for sapphire um sapphire new york on the 21st of july for anybody that's going to be there i actually had someone reach out and said they're going to be in new york Oh. Some fans, so they're all like wondering um, time. You can go to my Instagram and uh, see the links on Sapphire's page, and I have tickets up and bottle service and all this great stuff. I've got some um, great industry friends that are gonna come support. Really? Um, yeah, like some. I don't want to like say who yet because it's not they confirmed. Flake. Right, just right, in right. case. But a ton of my industry friends are supporting, which is you don't cool. have a ton of friends, but okay. okay um, <laughs> there might be some. <laughs> fighter celebrities to show up maybe we'll see um so you better not <laughs> stupid there um there are all kinds of all kinds of support for that so but it's going to be a great event and if anyone's in miami from the 15th to the 17th i will be signing and doing appearances and selling my merch and all that stuff um, i will have merch this time unlike xpw i will have merch next time um so yeah it's great it's um it's really exciting. We have all this stuff coming up. YouTube's huge. Go like and subscribe to YouTube. These episodes are going to be killer. You get to see an inside look of our life like no one's ever seen, and it's hilarious and dramatic Two Russians, and crazy. TwoRussiansWinAmerica.com. TwoRussiansWinAmerica.com. So, yeah, it's busy. We've got a lot of stuff going on. Um, and um, so this first episode, we're going to start leaking little promo videos for it. Clips. Um, or little clips. But when are we playing? Saturday, right? Saturday? We're going to... Post the first episode on Saturday. The first episode drops Saturday. Yes. Drops Saturday. So and um, and it will drop every Saturday every from Saturday. here on out. So it's like your reality TV fix for the week of our lives. That's what it's eccentric reality. Um, so and we've got episodes that like from six months ago, from a year ago, from a week ago. It's kind of a mix of everything. And then there's going to be. I mean, you get everything. Like I decided to combine my YouTube channel with this. So some of the more dramatic stuff that i've been promoting um that's gonna go on there at some point there's some big that's crazy our lives and like the some secrets and like you know just the the fun and the love and the crazy beautiful life that we live and it but you get to see everything it's reality you get to see you know the fights and the darkness and you know i was going through a really dark period and i got a good quote there's going to be an an episode and the only quote that i'm going to say from it is you put your hands on him again, I'm gonna knock your teeth down your throat. 
I'm just right. going to leave it at that. So you better go to two Russians, one America.com because that will come out at some point. <laughs> no, I can't. I'm derailing that one. <laughs> I got a quote for you from you. It says, why didn't that motherfucker take you to the hospital? Oh, yeah. That's a good That's a That's a really good one. That's <laughs> There's a, some good. Oh, we should, my God. We should start posting little quotes. Yeah. Well, that's what I've been doing. I posted that clip of I'm going to break your fucking teeth in. And then I. Oh, or, you did? Well, or when the, this person said. I'm going to fuck you up. And I was like, yeah, come fuck me up. So there's some good, there's some dark shit. There's just like, it gets yeah, wild. Be, yeah. But mostly, mostly, our pay, but this is real life. I mean, right. people can't expect us to be like, I mean, we fucking have moments, you know, and as dark as they are, and I'm, you know, appalled by my own behavior in some aspects, like, it's like, this is real life. We struggle, we break down, we have these things. We're human beings, but we love each other. It's our family. This is our life. Like, and it's it's fucking wonderful. And I wouldn't trade it for the world, you know. I would trade it for some things, but <laughs> some of these, yes, some I of the, would trade for the world. Yes, there yeah. are some things I wish didn't happen. There are a lot of things actually. We have a great video of. Uh, we're gonna have a little minor episode of uh, our cat falling out of a tree. <laughs> yeah, the cat's in it. Boy, you get our dumbass cat in every single shot trying to fuck with us all the time. You get our cat, you get my son, you get Evelyn, you get Ivan, you get me, you get all of our friends and family, wrestlers, porn people, you know, all the interviews we do, all the uh, even on set, you know, stuff. Like, it's just, it's crazy. Like, the trips we take, the adventures we go on, our daily lives, like, it's everything. It's It's amazing, so... If you were ever curious about what porn wrestler, stroke survivor, drunks. <laughs> yeah, do. there's all, there's, uh, it's all there. It's all there. Because uh, like, I actually want to do an episode about, like, when I was in the hospital mm -hmm. with all that footage. With all of our health problems oh, that we've had gosh. and, you know, stuff. It's... It, you know, and the funny thing is, like, well, I guess it's funny now, but a lot of the footage and pictures I've never looked at because I just shot them and I posted them. And I was so fucked up on medication. I didn't know what I posted. People were like, you can't be posting shit like that. And then, like, when I grabbed the the, um, the, the folder with all the uh, visuals to put in, you know, into our um, edit folder, and I clicked on the picture, I was like, oh, oh, my God, oh, my God. I post the picture of my leg like that. Hold. But then you should look at it, you're going... That leg is so open, it was like serrated, you know, like when you serrate meat. No, you can't post that. And uh, and it was just really like pink and clean. It looks like and... uh, Walking Dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was it insane. Really does. That's it's what really my leg graphic. looked like. Uh, I actually it's have way a, too graphic. I have a doing? great video of Emma Hicks. Oh, before, looking at it. Like super hot Emma Hicks in a little string bikini. I love Emma Hicks. Like like looking at my because she's got scars. And she's like, can I look at your scar? I'm like, yeah. can we record it? So we have this great video of her like yeah, like squatting by my leg and like can I touch it and she's like touching it and I'm like I go yeah like my nerve damage is and and she was just like so enthralled and like by my scar so that's gonna be on YouTube, uh, to Russians one America dot com and share because uh, we are trying to make this thing viral and uh, the more you share the more subscribers we get the better it is for everybody exactly. because and it's entertainment like you can't hurt, yeah it's right? fun you'll it's fun it. shit I yeah. think everybody is gonna absolutely love it you, you'll, you'll get episode. a closer look into us and then we're gonna merch Cloud 69 is what we're gonna go with Cloud 69, Cloud 69 merch, merch is coming we have like about 150 ideas like no joke that's not even an exaggeration of all the merch go buy my flashlight by the way yeah Misha has a flashlight go so buy my stick flashlight. Her penis we, inside her yeah Go get it. Or just wait for the next show. I had one of my friends from Reno, like who I'm very good friends with in a platonic way, and we've I've known them for like 15 years, and we never have like hooked up or anything. Yeah. And he's like, I really need like a flashlight. It's like, is it weird that I should I just buy yours? I'm like, well, yeah, fucking of course. Like, run me that check. Right, right, right. <laughs> I think. Even my friends are buying them, guys. I think. For your brother's birthday, you should get him your flashlight. Ew, that's fucking weird. But don't weird. tell him. But don't tell him. Put him in a oh, different box. Oh, you know box. what my brother's doing too. My brother, Zach, is, I'm bugging him to start a TikTok, and it's going, I'm not going to say what it, the concept is, because I don't want someone to steal it yet, until he puts it up, but if you want to know what being a porn star brother <laughs> is like, and the things that I tell him, and the trauma, and probably large, you know, psychological bills I'll have to be responsible for at some point, um, my brother is starting something as well. So like everybody in our, everybody's got stuff going on and we all are in this group. So it's, it's amazing the stuff that's going on. I'm yeah. never been happier. I actually love your brother's idea. I think it's brilliant because it is brilliant. I it, told him that too. Yeah. And you have endless amounts of content forever. Yeah. 
because yeah. all he has to do is talk to me. Yeah. And he's just horrified and scarred for life. But. There's this great video. We need to post that of him making fun of your voice. Oh, he makes fun of it all the time. And he makes fun. Yeah, that video. I did we post need that to, one. We, we need to promote. We, we need to introduce him on the YouTube channel yeah, of Zach. him making fun of your man voice. Yeah, Zach has. Zach's going to be in. My brother is going to be in YouTube, which no one's ever really seen Zach until recently. Yeah. So it's really like it is a deep inside look into our lives. My mom is going to be here and there. You know, she struggles with dementia seriously. And Your dog? My dog, my crazy dog. Um, my dad won't be in it. But, you know, I mean, it's crazy. Like, people haven't seen this side of our lives. So right. this is going to be really cool. If you guys go to the channel now, we have... You get to see my parents <laughs> because yeah. I posted uh, my intro. Promo we, we, stuff is we up. Push, we're putting Misha's promo video up this Wednesday. So you guys get to see a little bit more of Misha. Um, mine's up now. It's got it's got some hospital stuff. It's actually yeah. me walking for the first time with a walker after being in bed for almost two months. Yeah, my um, stroke. A lot yeah. of Misha strokes on, on hers. There's a lot. Um, there, We've been through a lot. There's uh, a shit ton. So yeah. So go um, like, subscribe. Go like, subscribe, and go this episode. Let's talk about about a little bit more about this since this is an XPW. Um, I have to pee. Uh, um, too bad. Too bad. But yes, carry on. So. Um, what can people expect from this first episode, the XPW, XPW California episode? Well, obviously, you get to see how I prepare and my wonderful, you know, moves that I do. And um, you see a lot of the, like, stuff that happens backstage. And I've been... But we're not giving away anything. No, 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 no. Videography, photography, um, just the whole experience of California and how exciting everything was and... It, it was it's great so yeah definitely go check it out stay tuned for the future ones it's gonna be dope so oh, you're yawning now yeah you're boring me oh god well good i have to pee so kick rocks so on that note anything else you want to promote go see me at sapphire new york july 21st get your tickets your tables baby um go to new york me. rob Rob's close. They're, no, they're not. They're like eight hours away. Oh. I asked them about it. Oh. Um, and um, I'll be in Exotica tomorrow until the 17th. So come check that out at the booth. I'll have merch. Um, you can sign, take pictures. Um, XBW fans that come to Miami, I'm not charging for uh, pictures or for signings. So, um, yeah, that's exciting. Um, if you haven't seen my soft white underbelly interview on youtube go like that watch it comment share that's yeah, a huge her, interview hers is really good because it's about her family called the whitakers <laughs> that's how misha was discovered because of her family the whitakers <laughs> so if you guys go to soft that's white underbelly the whitakers was actually done. the first time misha appeared on on that <laughs> youtube channel i'm there i'm in the background <laughs> uh, that's the best experience of my whole life so check that out um tons of interviews coming and the, like podcasts coming and um, obviously OnlyFans have got new scenes. I've shot so much fucking content. There's the new scenes dropping every week on that. Um, your OnlyFans. My website, MishaMontana.com. Um, merch is coming, guys. All these. Uh, there's just a lot. There's so much. So, yeah. Now that we have a, our own vinyl cutter, we can start making hats yeah, and shirts. We have a happening. logo that was designed for uh, uh, that I designed, actually, yeah. for two Russians, one America. That we're gonna test out in a little bit uh, yeah. on the hat. Yeah, possibly. and if you want two Russians on America merch, we're getting it. We got it. Get it. Cop it. Xeno Kitty merch is out. Um, we're gonna have Misha Montana merch is coming. Untitled Hooker. Daddy Wag is a little monster. Um, attention whore. Attention whore. We've got. This is why we have a, an umbrella company. <laughs> There's so many brands that we have. So yeah, it's great. Stay tuned for big things. I have to pee so bad that I'm gonna pee my pants. So I gotta go. Okay, uh, on that note, uh, go to two Russians. One America dot com. com and our Misha Montana's out. Two Russians, one podcast. Misha's out. She's going to go piss. Happy. She just took the mic off. This, this cable's long. You could have probably taken it with you. Probably. Um, so Misha's going to go fart in the bathroom. That's why she left. Wow. And um, yeah, that's it. Um, stay tuned for more. Um, please go subscribe and, and share to Russians, one America dot com. It's important to us because. We're dedicating literally our entire whatever livelihood we have um, on it and time and effort and blood, sweat, and tears, literally blood, sweat, and tears 
and uh, that's it so we are out and hopefully y'all enjoyed this podcast was supposed to be only 30 minutes but now it's almost 45 minutes all right bye